In my case, it was anxiety, and it was a lot of irritability and lack of trust. You know we're not coming back with probably like half of these guys, right? And when I heard that, my heart just like sank. I really think it's important that people understand how impactful Houston Public Media has been, particularly as it relates to impacting the lives of veterans in not just Houston, but in Texas. Um, John Bursler, um, I'm the executive director of Next Stop Veterans and also serve as the vice chairman of the board and founder of the Combined Arms System. And I'm also proud to serve on the Houston Public Media Young Leaders Council. As a native Houstonian and someone who left for a while and came back, uh, Houston Public Media has really been able to allow me to reconnect with my city in a, in a whole new variety of ways. I started my journey in the military by volunteering to serve in the United States Marine Corps when I was 17 years old. My service ended not by my choice, really around some injuries I sustained while in service that precluded me from continuing my career as an officer. Even though I can't serve my country or my community in uniform, I can do it in a different uniform. So Next Stop Veterans, that's my full-time job. As the executive director, I oversee a nonprofit veteran employment agency that seeks to really pipeline more military talent into heavy industry careers. This is Houston Matters. I'm Craig Cohen. The Hazelwood Act in Texas provides veterans and some children of veterans exemptions from some tuition and fee charges at public colleges and universities here. It's Without Houston Public Media, we would not have been able to gather enough support as it relates to the Hazelwood legacy benefit that impacts veteran families and dependents. Houston Public Media has really provided the veteran community a platform to discuss some of the most pressing and important issues. They have really helped us tell great, positive, narrative stories about some of our successful veterans. And for that, we're very thankful for their partnership as well. I'm incredibly thankful for what Houston Public Media has allowed us to do in terms of using it as an opportunity to speak about the issues that are most important to our tribe. When you give a small amount to Houston Public Media each month, you make a really big impact. Become a sustainer at $10, $20, or $30 a month. Just set it up once and you're done. You'll know every month that you're supporting the arts, quality journalism, science, and education with your sustaining membership. Call 800-364-8300 or give online at houstonpublicmedia.org. The role that Houston Public Media plays in getting out more information about veterans' issues has been successful in, in several verticals, but I think that there's a lot more that we could do, and that's why I'm volunteering to be on the Houston Public Media Young Leaders Council, is to really be that the veterans guy on the, uh, in the group. The Houston Public Media Young Leaders Council is really an opportunity to engage a whole new generation of listeners and supporters, particularly young professionals who may not have been previously exposed to you know, NPR or public radio, but particularly those of us who have been invested in our community for a long time, it's a great way for us to give back and contributions to help support this station financially and fuel the great programs that are provided by Houston Public Media, but also to really give suggestions and feedback on how to better engage with our generation and, and even younger generations. My involvement in the Houston Public Media's Young Leaders Council is really a way to give back because we, as the veteran community, have benefited from some great content that has led to such successful defense of veteran education benefits. What I think makes Houston Public Media unique is the leadership is truly invested in something new and exciting that could impact the station by investing in a Young Leaders Council, by listening to the voices of those mid-career professionals who are genuinely interested in supporting the mission and promoting the mission of Houston Public Media. I think that that's a perfect example of why we as a city need something that's not only unbiased and fair, but also innovative and exciting. My name is John Bursler, and I proudly support Houston Public Media.